Thank you, our Lord. Thank you, the King of glory. Thank you, the God of heaven and earth. Thank you, our soon coming King. Your children are here again. Come and have your way, Lord. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover the atmosphere with the blood of Jesus. Father, be on the throne again. Come and be seated on the throne. For your children are here again. And we are covering the atmosphere with the blood of Jesus. We are decreeing this night that signs and wonders shall happen. Even as we have come to the presence of God. May his glory reign tonight. May his power be made manifest this wonderful night. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mighty God, we recognize our sins. We recognize our unworthiness. And ask you, Holy Father... In this moment of prayer, in this fellowship with you, in this journey with you, may you show mercy to your children. May you wash us clean that we shall be whiter than snow. Father, do not take away from us the gift of the Holy Spirit, but restore unto us the joy of thy salvation. And at the end, you shall take all the glory, and your children shall praise your name. Father, we thank you. And so we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father, because we are sure you have forgiven us. And for this, we give you all glory, and we praise your name above all names, above all the voices of many rivers, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. We cover ourselves, blood of Jesus, and we decree this night that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Since it has has pleased you to come to the, us this night since it has pleased you to forgive our sins and it has pleased you lord even to lead us in this journey we're about to undergo with you may it also please you lord to make us at the end of the day to smile in a big way with the testimonies that you shall decorate your children with in the name of jesus christ of nazareth amen and amen thank you jesus thank you king of glory even the instruments you are going to use tonight will hand them over to you that we shall take total preeminence over them may your hands be upon them in the name of jesus thank you mighty god thank you king of glory we appreciate you jesus we worship you like mighty god thank you jesus will i place you are i just want you to begin to thank the lord for the wonder that the lord is prepared to do this night thank him thank him thank him thank him Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him for what he is going to do this night. Appreciate him for the grace that is going to touch your life tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Begin to give him all glory. Begin to give him all worship in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you because we know you are here to bless your children and we appreciate you for the awesome things you are going to do tonight in Jesus Christ gracious name we pray with thanksgiving amen and amen 
and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My dear friends in Christ, I have the pleasure this day to welcome each and every one of us to the hearts of Jesus and Mary Ministries. And in a special way, again, we have this golden opportunity to make a journey, not with man, for with man, we have finished, we are finished. But we know that with God, all things are possible. But now we have come to be led by God himself, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so as we have, as we have come to be with him and for him to be with us and to journey with us in these stations of the cross, may the Lord use this prayer to bless you in the name of the <clears> Father <throat> and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. And so before we in, engage in this prayer, I want to uh, encourage each and every one of us to understand that this is a journey with Jesus, meaning that we're not going to allow distractions, okay? We have to focus on Jesus. We have to keep looking at the, at the footsteps of Jesus and put our own uh, legs, you know, our own uh, foot upon the places where Jesus has been able to put his. And I tell you that as we do this, we are going to be blessed mightily. Now, that is number one. Then number two, please try to get your, your friends involved in the prayer. Share the link. Just by a click away, you know, you invite your friends. Go to the comment section and make your comments there. Let the world know where you stand, that you stand on the side of Jesus. Amen. And lastly, please like the message. Like it and then let the world know that you like the ways of God. And so may God bless you even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Even as we are singing the song now. May God be glorified in our hearts. May God be glorified. Harabashakata. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, glorify your name. Jesus, glorify your name. My dear friends in Christ, the hour has come, the hour to journey with Jesus, the hour to look unto him who is our Lord and our Savior, the hour to look unto him who is our shepherd, the good shepherd, the great shepherd. He is no other person than Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the burden bearer. The one who bears the burden of his children. The one who cries to his people and his people will anchor on him. He cries to us to come and now we cry to him and he also answer. That God is here. He is Jesus, the king of glory, the mighty man in battle, the ancient of days. He has called you and I to make this journey with him in his capacity as our savior, as our king, as our shepherd. My dear friends in Christ, I have this pleasure tonight to invite us to this quick reflection from Psalm 23, verse 1. And you hear the psalmist saying that the Lord is my shepherd, and the Lord is my shepherd, and there is nothing I shall want. This was the declaration of the psalmist looking at God as his own shepherd. He's saying that God is his shepherd. Shepherd because he is the one that protects him. He's the one that fights his battles. He's the one that makes a way for him. In the time of danger, the, the, the Lord protects him. The Lord sees him through. The other day, David was able to fight even Goliath. And the God's, God was able to give him victory. In Psalm 50, verse 18, you see David saying, The Lord, praise be his name, for he has delivered me from the mighty enemy. Because the Lord has always fought his battles, because the Lord has always delivered him from every danger. You see the psalmist saying, based on personal experience, that the Lord is his shepherd. 
And he says, I shall not want. Let it be clear to us tonight that if the God of David is your God and he is your shepherd, then you must be his sheep. Meaning that a sheep must always follow the shepherd and we have no option than to follow our Lord Jesus, who is our shepherd. Not just a shepherd, but the good shepherd. This is where we are in the course of this prayer. In this session of the cross, we are called to come and follow Jesus. Not to follow man. We are called to walk with Jesus. It is a walk with Jesus. Not a walk with ourselves. We are not complete until Jesus is part of the journey. My dear friends, who guided David come to guide us if we allow him to do so? The Lord is our shepherd. He is our shepherd. will always be with us. He knows that the sheep is is prone to wonder, is prone to irritation, is prone to danger. And so he calls the sheep to come, to allow him to shepherd him. The sheep must be reliant upon the shepherd. We can't see God as a shepherd if we don't see ourselves as sheep. So we must rely on God for everything. We really need him. For without him, there is no life in us. My dear friends in Christ, if we think we can be able to make it on our own, we cannot make it on our own. For only in his presence shall we be able to make it. Do not forget, the Lord is here to bless us. That without him, we wander, we drift away, and we enter into a place of danger. We seek for Life where there is no life. We seek satisfaction in artificial things and artificial places. But the David, the psalmist says, the Lord is my shepherd. My dear people of God, as we go through the stations of the cross, let it be known that he who is the shepherd of Israel is also our own shepherd. He is going to see us through tonight. He is going to make way for us tonight. He is going to fight our battles tonight. He is not going to abandon his children. My dear people of God, the Lord says, I am your shepherd. I'm going to shepherd you. I'm going to lead you to a place of pasture. I'm going to lead you to the place where you are going to drink waters in the desert from the brooks. I will give you water in your times of thirstiness, Even in the time of famine, I will be with you. I will provide food for you. I will not allow you to be put to shame. I will water your land. He is a good shepherd. The psalmist says that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Why? Because he knows that God, who is a good shepherd, will always provide everything that he needed. A shepherd has a close and intimate relationship with his sheep. We're not talking about the kings of the earth, that they may plan some good things for people, but just for the for the few that could benefit from him. But this is the shepherd who is able to protect us, who is able to know us intimately, even to consider it as if we are the only sheep on the whole earth, as if one, you, myself, is the only sheep that is on earth, that he is to look after. He has a deep concern for us, for each and every one of us. That is Jesus. This is how Jesus cares for us. He cares for our coming in. He cares for our going out. He is always there. He will even make sure that even none of our hairs will fall on the ground. He knows the number. And even if any one of us is lost, the Lord goes about to seek for that one that is lost. So that that will come back, with, will come back to the sheep. Come back to be with the fold. My dear friends in Christ, if the Lord is with us, then we have no reason to fear. If the Lord is with us, then we shall not be able to even fear the forces of darkness. If the Lord is with us, the psalmist says, what shall I want? The Lord is my shepherd. Nothing shall I want. 
nothing, not even one thing shall I want if the Lord is with me. Nothing. Why? Because he knows that when the Lord is with him, then the Lord will be his providence. The Lord will provide for him. The Lord will fight his battles. So David knew that once the Lord was with him, he had no reason to fear. He had no reason to worry. May I use the opportunity to remind us that in Matthew chapter number 6, verse 33, the Lord says to us that if we seek his kingdom and his righteousness, that every other thing shall be added unto us, meaning that all that we need, and which is the most important thing, and the summary of everything about man is to seek God first. And when we seek him, he will take care of every other thing. He will provide water in the desert for the people to drink. He will provide food where there is no one. He will make sure that even a time of famine, that he takes care of that situation that you are going through in the name of Jesus. And so he tells us not to worry. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, and the Lord says, Therefore, worry not about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. And so, my dear people of God, if we have a God like Jesus, who is our providence, who is able to take care of our needs, who is able to fight our battles, even the things we don't know that we need, he knows that we need them. And he goes ahead of time to fight our battles for us. That God is worthy to follow. That God is worthy to be made a king. He is supposed to be called the king of our lives. And so I call on you tonight, let us anchor on him who is able. In these stations of the cross, we pour our hearts to him, for he is our great God. We have no reason to fear. Oh, let the Lord bless us tonight. Let him touch people tonight. Anywhere you are now, ask him to touch you tonight. Hey, Master Kata, let him take over tonight in the name of Jesus. Ask him to satisfy you, to satisfy the longing of your heart in this time of prayer, in these very stations of the cross. Ask the Lord to locate you in the name of Jesus. Ask him to visit you. Oh, Reba Sakata, ask him to fill you with his power. Masekete, is somebody praying now? Call on him, call on him. Our Lord is able to make a way where there's no way in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 pray. Hey, Mark Asakata, the mighty God is here tonight. He is here tonight to prepare a way for you. Even in the wilderness, the Lord is making a way tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. And the psalmist says, nothing shall I want. That word want means, ah, that you know, lack. That want means lack. That word means, you know, a, a, a place of serious need. That is what want means. It means a season of emptiness. It means a season of, a season of even dryness. A time when life is dry. A time of famine. That is what that word want means. When the land is dry, the land needs water. The land will need moisture. That is the state of want for the land. For a child of God, you may be in your own season of want. But I tell you tonight, the psalmist says, Psalm 23 verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd, therefore there is nothing that I shall want. When David said that nothing that I shall want, what it means is that if he has his, your God as a God, if he has the God of heaven and earth that is God, that he has no reason why he should fear. He has no reason why he should want. There is no need for him to be in scarcity. He has no need to be in a time of dry up. His life will not dry up. He is not going to enter into a time of emptiness because the Lord is with him. His well shall not run dry because the Lord is with him. That is why he's saying shall not be in a state of want. And I pray this night, let us join David in that prayer to decree and to declare in the course of this prayer. Hey, man, Sakata, let the Lord visit us tonight in our state of want. Let the God come and be our providence in the name of Jesus, where our wells have run dry. Let the Lord visit us tonight. Let there be water in my well in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, Isaiah chapter 12 and 3, with joy I shall fetch water from the wells of salvation. No more shall I go to the state to fetch water. No more shall I, no more shall I go even to the well to fetch water. And I will not see water to fetch. From today, in the name of Jesus, I will fetch water from the wells. Even in the desert, I will fetch water. In the name of Jesus, 
Yes, my Lord. Every spirit on assignment to make my world to run dry. Today, in the name of Jesus, we stand against that spirit right now. I don't know if somebody pray with me now. I don't know if somebody is ready to, for, to pray. Here is somebody praying right now. Let somebody vibrate in that prayer. Hey, Mark, every spirit I want you to get empty. Every spirit I want to empty your life. I say, today, in the name of Jesus, we cancel them right now. We cancel them right now. Let somebody begin to pray right now. The psalmist says, I shall not want, meaning that there shall be rain. There shall be rain upon the land. There shall be grace upon the land. There shall be glory upon the land. In the name of Jesus, his land shall be filled, filled to the brim with the water of life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Yes, my Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every spirit of emptiness, we cancel them right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Oh, Masakata. Pray, 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 pray. In that season of want, the Lord shall be your providence. In this season of the cross, the Lord shall be your strength. The Lord shall make a way for you. I said, the Lord shall make a way for you. In the name of Jesus. Let somebody pray now. Vibrate in that prayer. Vibrate in that prayer. Hey, Call on him, call on him. Ask him to see you through, to you this of the cross to decorate you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, pray, my people. Pray, my people. The God of Israel is here. The God of David is here. He's a God that who will never fail. In the name of Jesus, even as we go through the sins of the cross, it is a time of settlement for somebody. It's a time of joy with somebody. For the Lord shall be with you. In the name of Jesus, pray now, pray now, pray now. Pray, 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 pray. There shall be no decrease in my life. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, pray my people, where my people, let the Lord visit you, in the name of Jesus, yes my Lord, even the shepherd heals, he heals every hurting sheep, he heals every hurting sheep, is there a sheep that is hurting, is there a sheep that is hurting, I pray today for an oil of grace to rest on you, in the name of Jesus, let that oil rest on you. The oil of power, the oil of healing. In the name of Jesus, the psalmist says, Hariba Sakata, that the Lord pours his oil upon him. He poured the oil upon him. Hayaba Sakata. What does the oil do? In the name of Jesus, what does the shepherd do when he is pouring oil? What is he doing when he's pouring oil on the sheep? When the shepherd is pouring oil on the sheep, it is because he wants the, the, the wounds on the head of the sheep sheep to be healed because the sheep over time they begin to have wounds on their head. You see them kicking each other. You see them booting each other because uh, over time and then you begin to see some wounds. Hayabasakata. And now as the shepherd begins to pour the oil over the head of the of the sheep, that, that oil begins to bring healing upon the wound of the sheep. So we are praying now. I don't know the wound you are carrying in the course of the prayer. Hayabasakata. Let there be oil on your head. Let God bring oil on you. Let him pour oil on you. Oil of grace, oil of grace. Let that oil be poured on you. Receive that oil now. Receive that oil now. In the name of Jesus, the oil to uh, engage the journey, the oil to make it to the end. In the name of Jesus, every wound on your life. Oh, Jesus. Every wound in your life. Let there be healing now. Let there be healing now. Even the shepherd will pour oil. Even the shepherd will pour oil. Even the shepherd will pour oil upon the head of the sheep so that the wound shall be healed. I don't know the wound are carrying. But this night, this night, in these stations of the cross, there shall be oil of healing. There shall be oil of healing. Because Jesus, who is the healer, Jesus, who is the oil of the hills, he is pouring his oil on you. He is pouring his oil on you so that you shall get healed. Hey, Marie Kasakata. Oh, Jesus. May somebody be healed now in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Ask him to heal you. Ask him to restore you. To restore you in the course of the prayer. Because the oil is here. The oil of grace is here. I said the oil is here. The oil for healing is here. Hey, Reba Sakata. Let that oil be poured on you. I say receive the oil now. Bend your head and receive the oil. I say bend the head and receive the oil. The oil is flowing now. Don't allow the oil to pour on the ground. Oh, robo secrete, pre, 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 pre. Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Call on him. Call on him. The mighty God of Israel. In the name of Jesus. Hey, my Basakata. Call on him. Call on him. The Lord is here to pour oil on you. The Lord is here to decorate you with a special oil. I say, receive that oil now. I say, receive that oil now. The oil of grace upon you. Hey, Reba Sakata. Where are you hurting? Where are you hurting? The oil it is upon you now. The oil of healing. Receive that oil now. Receive that oil now. In the name of Jesus. Let that oil come on you. I say receive it now. The oil of power. The oil of power. The oil of power. The oil of power. Yes, my Lord. Let that oil rest on you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hey, my Lord. Jesus. 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 Yes, my Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. A time to pour the oil. <laughs> The Lord is pouring his oil tonight upon his sheep. Upon his wounded sheep, the oil is being poured. Ha! Huh. Let the oil touch your head tonight. Let the oil touch your wounds tonight. That the Lord shall bless his people. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Jesus. Yes, Lord. The man of Calvary is here. The man of Calvary is here. He's here to bless you. He's here to decorate you. Ask him to visit you. Ask him to visit you. Jesus. Ha ya 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 ya. Ha ya ya. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My dear friends in Christ, as you have heard it, the shepherd pours oil on the head of the sheep in order to help the sheep to get healed. But when the wounds are there on the head of the sheep, the oil helps to repel the flies. There are flies that follow the sheep about, you know. But when the oil is there, the flies go away. The flies, they go, they disappear. They don't follow the sheep anymore because of the oil. I don't know the fly that is following you in your life. I don't know the flying spirit that have been following your destiny. Today, as we are receiving this oil of grace, as we are receiving the oil of Jesus, let this oil, let this oil drive out of our lives. Hare Kasakata, every flying spirit that is following my life about, let them be repelled by this oil in the name of Jesus. Let them be repelled right now. Every leaping spirit, every leaping power, every creeping spirit that is after my life, let them be arrested now in the name of Jesus. As the oil of power, as the oil of grace is upon me, may May God deliver me tonight. May they not monitor me again. In the name of Jesus. Can somebody begin to pray? Call on the mighty Jesus now. Hare Basakata. In the course of this session to the cross, any evil power that is following my life about, let them be arrested now. In the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Call on Jesus. Call on Jesus. Let him come. Let him come. Let him come and fight for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. They can't follow me again. They can't destroy my life. By virtue of this oil, let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Pray now. Pray now. Pray now. Oh, Jesus. I will begin to pray with the psalmist now. In Psalm 23, verse 2 to and follow him. And there the Bible says, he makes me to lie down in green pasture. He makes me to lie down in 
green pastor? Can you begin to pray now? Oh Lord, my God, make me to lie in green pastor in the name of Jesus. Make me to lie in green pastures in the name of Jesus. Lead me through the waters in the name of Jesus. Help me, oh Lord. Let me, let me, oh Lord. Lead me beside the still waters in the name of Jesus. Let not the water drown me. Let not the water drown me. For your word says, as they are 43 verse 2, even when you pass through the waters, you shall not be drowned. Areba Sakata, oh mighty God, we stand on Psalm 23, verse 3, and we ask you, Lord, to restore my soul. Restore us, oh Lord. He restores my soul. That was the testimony of David yesterday. Today it is my testimony in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Ask him to restore your soul. Ask him to restore you in the name of Jesus. The ship was lost yesterday, but today is restoration. The ship is coming back. The ship is coming back to the fold in the name of Jesus. The Lord leads me on the path of righteousness. Ask him to lead you on the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, let him lead you. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying now? Lead me, O oh Lord, on the path of righteousness. I don't want to walk on the path of evil. I don't want to walk on the path of destruction. In the name of Jesus. Ayaba Sakata, pray, 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 pray. Psalm 23, verse 4. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I will fear no demon. I will fear no witches and wizards. I will not fear them because the Lord is with me. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not end up in death in the name of Jesus. The shadow will not destroy me. Every evil shadow, every evil shadow that is after my life, ah, yeah, Baba say, let them be destroyed right now. Every evil shadow. The spirit of death, you have no say in my life. In the name of Jesus, is somebody praying now? Vibrating prayer, vibrating prayer. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let the Lord hear you tonight. I will not fear evil. I will not fear the lions. They will not tell me because the Lord is with me. In the name of Jesus, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, he is with me in this battle. He is with me in this fight. He is with me in this conflict. In the name of Jesus. Areba Sekete. Pray, 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 pray. The Lord is with me. Yes, my Lord. With your rod, with your staff, you shall comfort me. Even in the time of heat, Father, you shall comfort me. Even in the time of famine, the Lord shall comfort me. The Lord shall be with me. The Lord shall make a way for me. In the name of Jesus. John 14 verses. And Jesus says, I am the way. I am the way. Therefore, as I follow him, Areba Sekete, he will comfort me. He will see me through in the name of Jesus. The Lord is preparing a table for me. The Lord is preparing a table for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. The Lord is preparing a table for me in the presence of my enemies. In the name of Jesus. A time of celebration is coming. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is decorating me. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Is somebody praying over there? Vibrate in our prayer. Vibrate in our prayer that the Lord is preparing a table for you. A time of celebration has come. A time of recognition has come. In the name of Jesus, yes, my Lord. Let him anoint my head with oil. Let him anoint your head with oil. Let him anoint your marriage with oil. Let him anoint your career with oil. Let him anoint your destiny with oil. Ask him to anoint you with oil. The anointing oil is here. The Lord is pouring the oil on you. In the name of Jesus. According to John 2 verse 7, that oil is filling the pot now. In the name of Jesus. Yesterday, in the testimony of John 2 verse 7, it was written, and the Bible says, and they fill the water pots to the brim. But tonight, the oil is filled to the brim. My life is filled with oil and is filled to the brim in the name of Jesus. I am a carrier of oil. I am a carrier of grace in the name of Jesus. And my cup is running over. Your cup is running over. Is somebody praying now? My cup is running over. In the course of the prayer, my cup is running over in the name of Jesus. Surely, Goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy shall follow me tonight in the name of Jesus. Shall follow me tonight all the days of my life. The goodness and mercy shall follow me. 
is us as I dwell in the house of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy shall follow me. Is somebody making a prayer? Goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy. Even as I go through this on the cross, goodness and mercy shall follow me. The Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow me tonight in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, yes, my Lord. Yesterday, it may have been bad news following me, but today, henceforth, goodness and mercy of the Lord shall follow me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you for setting out tonight. Thank you for coming, oh Lord, to come and be with us in this journey. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' gracious name, we pray. Amen. <laughs> Jesus Christ, give us the There is one thing I know, wherever I the first station jesus is condemned to death we adore you O christ and we praise thee because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world my dear people of god in this moment jesus is condemned to death our innocent savior the king of kings the one that redeems those that are condemned he is now condemned imagine the ugly situation that jesus is going through that we put him in that situation look at what he's going through look at our lord jesus look at how he's treated like a criminal hell jesus imagine the pains imagine the rejection imagine that those he came to save they are the ones that are crucifying him and we are those ones jesus is talking to us tonight ha jesus jesus Father, we are sorry for what our sins have done to you. We are sorry, Lord. We ask you even this moment, help us, Lord, to come back to ourselves. Help us to come back to our senses, to see the ways we have offended you, and they reject evil and come back to you. Mighty Jesus, help us. Touch your children. Touch your people. Do not abandon us in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. My dear friends, our King of glory, our mighty Savior Jesus, is now condemned. The forces of darkness used Pilate and men like him, Caiaphas, and all who were who made themselves available, including Herod, to attack Jesus, our innocent Savior, our Lord and our Savior. The Jews came against him, and they came with one voice to condemn, to destroy, to kill Jesus. The Romans came against him. The whole world came against Jesus. How? He was condemned on the account of coming to save us. The Lord was condemned. Mother Francis Christ, let it be known that all that the Jews did against Jesus has nothing to do with the plan of the devil to say it. It's actually God, God's intention that those things will happen so that Jesus will die for you and for me. But when the devil was playing the games we were playing, he did not know that God was going to turn around everything he was doing 
against him. Because at the end, this same Jesus was the undoing of the devil. <laughs> Amen. And so, my dear friends, even as we come to this prayer, let us understand that God is with us. Let us understand that if we may be going through so many troubles, it does not mean that God has abandoned us. Jesus knew that his father was with him. Even though he was going through many troubles, even though he was going through torture, he knew his father was with him. I don't know what they are going through. Maybe the, 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 the spirits of this world may have gathered the heroes of our time. They may, may have let loose the pirates, the, the Caiaphases, to come against you. They conspire to come and attack you. But the Lord is making a way. No matter the torture you go through, no matter the blasphemy, no matter the bruises you have suffered, the Lord is coming. The Lord is going to vindicate you. The Lord will make a way. We stand on Psalm 140 to pray this moment in prayer. And so the, the psalmist begins to pray in Psalm 140, verse 1 and following. And as we're making this prayer, we are asking God to use this prayer to vindicate us from every violent enemy. Like Herod, Herod spirits. These are spirits that kill. Look at what Herod planned to do against Jesus, an innocent savior, a, a baby. He didn't, Jesus didn't do anything wrong to Herod. Jesus was just a baby. Ah, <laughs> yet Herod came against him and planned to kill him. Jesus, I don't know the spirit of Herod that's after you, that wants to kill you or to kill your destiny. But today, as we raise up our voice in prayer, let that spirit be arrested tonight. The spirit of Pilate against our destinies, let them be arrested tonight. Every violent spirit, spirit that is blood sucking, we are standing against them tonight. Spirit that are using evil people around us to come and attack us. We are standing on Psalm 140, verse 1 and following, to cry to the God of the Psalmist to come and vindicate us tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus, come and rescue us, oh Lord. Rescue us, mighty Jesus. Rescue us from the evil men. Protect us, oh Lord, from men who are blood seeking, from men of violence who devise evil against your children, whose hearts stir up evil all day long. All that they seek is evil and wickedness against your people. Evil come out from their lips. Mighty God, come and deliver us. Ask God to deliver you. This is a time of prayer. When the psalmist made this prayer in Psalm 140, the Lord answered him. And I tell you, if from the heart you make this prayer, the Lord will deliver you from every spirit of condemnation, every spirit of the heralds that wants to destroy your mission on earth. God has a purpose for you. He has sent you an assignment on this earth. But there are heralds that want to kill it. There are skyphases, pilots that want to make sure that the reason for God to bring you to this earth, that it does not come to pass. But today we're saying, you know, that the will of God, the mission of God for me shall come to pass. The plan of God for us shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. May the Lord deliver us from their hands. Let somebody begin to pray now. It's us. Their tongues are sharp like razor. They are, they are, even their tongues are like the tongues of snakes. That they are lying. In the name of Jesus. But we pray the Lord. Let the Lord deliver us from their lies. From all their blasphemy. Let the Lord deliver us tonight. From their kisses of betrayal. May the Lord deliver us tonight. All the green snake in green grasses. May the Lord deliver us from their hands. In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord deliver you now. Cry to the Lord. Cry to the Lord now. Oh, Jesus, from every household enemy, from every household enemy, let the Lord deliver us tonight in the name of Jesus. From the venom of the vipers, from the venom of the vipers, Hayaba Sakata, cry to the Lord to deliver you in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. It's us. Herod is carrying a, a venom. Caiaphas is carrying venom. Robo Sekete. Pilate is carrying venom. But they shall not inject me with that venom. Their snakes shall not bite me. They shall not bite my family. In the name of Jesus. They shall not inject their poison into my life. If somebody pray now, ask God to guide you. My God and my Father guide me. Help save me, O oh Lord. Please, oh, save me from the hands of the wicked. Keep me safe. Keep me safe, mighty God. From violent men. From men of violence. Do not allow them to succeed, O oh Lord. Let not their scheme work out. Let them stumble. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, make them to stumble. Mary, Kasakata, pray, 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 pray. 
is us. Let them fall into the snare that they have planned for me, that they are planning for, for my family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Do not allow me to fall into their snare. Father, oh Lord, deliver me. Come and set me free, oh Lord. Arise, oh Lord. Arise, oh Lord. Ask the Lord to arise for you. That the spirit of condemnation that have been set up against you, let them be cancelled right now. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is my God. Oh Oh God, you are my God. Hear my prayers and answer me. Come for my help, oh Lord. I need your help. I need your help. Ask God to come to help you. Oh, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my strength. Come and strengthen me, oh Lord. Come and strengthen this ministry. Come and strengthen my workers. Come and strengthen my destiny. Come and strengthen my family. In the name of Jesus. Come and strengthen my career. Every mandate against my career. Every mandate against my destiny. Father, oh Lord, arise. Lee Kasakata. Is us. You are the strength of my salvation. You are the strength of my salvation. Ask God to arise for you. Let him be the strength of your salvation. Ask him to shield you. To shield you from every spirit of condemnation. Ask him to shield you now. Is somebody praying now? My Lord, shield me from the wicked spirit. Shield me from every spirit of condemnation. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Shield my head. Shield my head. Pour your oil upon my head to repel every herald. Pour your oil upon my head to repel every carfas. Pour your oil upon my head to repel every pilot. Every basakata to repel every spirit that want to cut on my head in the name of Jesus. Father, come, 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 come. Pour your oil. Pour your oil. Let me be drenched with your oil. Let me be soaked with your oil in the name of Jesus. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Is us the oil of God who shields? Let the oil shield you, Mary Kasakata. In the day of battle, Lord, come and fight my battle. You fought the, the battle of David. Come and fight my battle, oh Lord. Cry to him now. Cry to him now. Oh Mary Kasakate. Let the Lord cry to you. Ask him to fight for you in the name of Jesus. Oh Jesus. Pray, my people, pray, my people. Don't allow them to succeed, oh Lord. Do not allow them to destroy your son. Don't allow them to destroy your child. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Is all pray, 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 pray. Surround me with your power, surround me with your fire, surround me with your fire. Ask the Lord to surround you with your fire so that no spirit of condemnation shall be able to encroach into your destiny in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, every spirit of condemnation that is around my space, that is around my spiritual space, by the power of Jesus, let them be crushed now, let them be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Jesus, they want to cover me with troubles, but Lord, oh Lord, don't allow it to happen, oh Lord. May I not be covered with troubles in the name of Jesus. May I not be covered with the allegations in the name of Jesus. Cry to the Lord now. Pray, 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 pray. Jesus, through this prayer, oh Lord, may you release even hot coals of fire, release burning coals of fire. Let the burning coals of fire begin to fall upon them now, upon the kingdom of darkness. Oh, my Kasakata, upon the kingdom that's against my destiny. Let the chakos of fire begin to pour upon them now. Let it begin to fall down now. As it happened in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, let it happen now that the kingdom that is after my condemnation. The kingdom that is sponsoring the condemnation of my life. Hey, my secretary, let the burning charcoals of fire, red hot charcoals of fire, begin to bury them now. Begin to bury them now. Let them be buried in the mountain of fire. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying now? Oh, Riba Sakata. Jesus. Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Hey, Rika Sakata, all their calamities, they are planned to bring calamity. He shall be destroyed now. Father, hunt them down, hunt them down by the power of your name in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, you are the God who upholds justice. You are the God who upholds justice. Father, uphold justice for me in the name of Jesus. Reba Sakata, Father, oh Lord, come to my vindication. Defend my cause, oh Lord. Ma Kerebosa. 
Father, for as you do this, O oh Lord, you shall be praised forever. To you be all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for delivering your people. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Begin to thank him now. Begin to praise him now. For the Lord has done it again. Oh, Reba Sakata. Thank you, thank you. For you have delivered your people from the cage of condemnation. In the name of J E S U S. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Ancient of days, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Begin to thank him now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 And follow the attack, let you make a friend with a love of Jesus. It is a great story, great story. What a great story, a great story. Let us do it away and follow God, let to make a friend. We are Lord Jesus. It is a great for you, great for me. Amen. Amen and amen. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by the Holy Cross, you have redeemed the world. My dear people of God, it is my pleasure to welcome us to the second station in which Jesus takes up his cross. The Lord who has taken up his cross also has invited us to take our cross and follow him. He who has called us to take our cross and follow him is with us. He is with us. My dear people of God, he is with us as we carry our cross, as we go through the waters, as we pass through the fire, the Lord is with us. The Lord will, is continue to be with us. There's no way he will call us into this assignment, into this journey, into this pilgrimage, and he will abandon us. The Lord is with us, that we know. A time comes, even in our struggles, that we tell ourselves that this I know, that the Lord is with me. I know this, that the Lord is with me. I cannot understand why I'm going through so many troubles, but what I know is that the Lord is with me. And let me tell you, no matter what you go through as a child of God, when I say a child of God, I don't mean a child of God because you're existing on earth as a human being. I mean someone having a deep and abiding relationship with Jesus. If you are going through troubles, it is because God allowed it and he is with you. And even if when the trouble increases, let me tell you, the Lord also increases the grace that you need to go, be able to go through that trouble. <laughs> oh, brother. What of if the troubles hit seven times? Anyway, the glory will also hit seven times. The glory will also be raised up seven times. The Lord cannot allow that trouble that is greater than you to come. For every trouble, that is a matching grace that you need. And God provides it. He knows that he cannot be able to bear that trouble if he is bringing something or if he allows something that is greater than you, something you cannot be able to carry. If he allows it, then you break up. But the Lord does not want us to carry the cross to break us. The cross strengthens us, not to break us. The devil brings his own to break us. So, whatever you go through, 
Always remember that is a promise for you. In Isaiah chapter number 43, verse 1, 2, and 3. And there the Bible says, Isaiah 43, verse 1, I know you, Jacob. I know you by Israel. I know you by your name. I am always with you. Verse 2 and 3, then the Lord begins to say that even when you pass through the waters, I am with you. I will not allow the water to destroy you. I will not allow the water to drown you. You are not going to be drowned in that flood. Mark and in verse 3, begin to say, even when you pass through the fire, you shall not be burnt, you shall not be scorched. I don't know the fire you are going through, or maybe you are already going through a flood. But the Bible says, Isaiah 59, verse 19, and I will raise a standard for you. I will raise a standard. I will raise the standard so that you shall not be carried away in the name of Jesus. I don't know what the situation, but begin to talk to the Lord now. Let the Lord make a way for you. Begin to talk to him now. He's us. Ask him to come and see you through. Let him vindicate you. Is somebody praying now? Is praying somebody praying now? Oh Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray, 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 pray. Even if the fire is heated seven times hotter. Even if the fire is heated seven times hotter. Your glory, your glory, your glory is seven times brighter. The grace is seven times stronger. In the name of Jesus. Let this strength to you tonight. Bear this in your mind today. That the more the troubles, the greater the grace. And the greater the glory in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Pray now, pray now, pray now. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, Jesus. Mighty Jesus, let him vindicate you. Talk to the Lord now. Talk to the Lord now. In the name of Jesus. Talk to him. Talk to him. Let him make a way for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Cry him. Cry to him now. No matter the troubles, the Lord is able to meet with you. The Lord is able to see you through. The Lord is able to say to you, in the name of Jesus, the more the troubles, the stronger you become. In the name of Jesus. They want to crush you. They want to crush your bones. But the Lord is fashioning out the miracle for you. You are multiplying. You are increasing. That is the plan of the Lord. And the Bible says, Exodus 1 verse 12. Exodus 1 verse 12. And then the Bible says that the more the affliction, the more they multiplied. The more the affliction, the more they multiplied. I don't know who had the testimony. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I don't know who had the testimony. The more the affliction, the more the affliction, the more they multiplied. Sister, is that your testimony? Brother, is that your testimony? Yesterday, it was the testimony of the people of Israel when they were in Egypt and the Pharaoh had a mission to suffer the people of Israel, to destroy them, to make them suffer. He made a plan of martyrdom, a plan to begin to kill all the male-born children. But the Bible says, the more the affliction, the more they multiplied. The more they were killing them, the more they were increasing. How about you tonight? The more the affliction, the more you are increasing. The more the troubles, the more you are increasing. The more the keepings, the more the glory in the name of Jesus. The more the temptations, the more the testimonies in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Is somebody praying now? Makata kata. A time of testimonies. Yes, my Lord. The evil they planned. God is turning them for good. God is turning for somebody testimony. And the Bible says, Genesis 15 verse 20. The evil that he meant for me, God turned it for my good. That was the testimony of Jacob yesterday, Joseph yesterday. But today, it is my testimony. It is your testimony. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Pray now, pray now, pray now. Oh, Jesus. Because they are in Increasing my affliction. The Lord is increasing my testimony in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. The more the weight of the cross, the greater the crown in the name of Jesus. The greater the glory in the name of Jesus. I say, pray, 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 pray. Makata Sakata. Lift up your voice in prayer. Aribo sekete, pray, 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 pray. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. Oh, Mary, Kasakata. Let the Lord hear you. Let the Lord hear you. In the name of Jesus, vibrate in that prayer. Vibrate in that prayer. The more the trouble, the more the affliction, the more they multiplied. The more they multiplied. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Masakata. Somebody is already being multiplied. Anointing of multiplicity. Anointing of multiplicity is coming upon somebody now. Let that anointing come upon you. Receive it. 
right now in the name of Jesus. Every Pharaoh, every Pharaoh that is after your life, that is chasing your life, the more the chase, the more the affliction, the more the troubles, the more the glory, the more the grace, the more the testimonies, the more the favor in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Yes, my Lord. And so the Bible says, Psalm 108, verse 17, I will not die. I shall live to testify the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living, even though they plan for me to die in this very situation. But I will not die. They are increasing the affliction so that I die in the situation. But I'm not going to die. Yes, my Lord. This sickness will not take my life in the name of Jesus. These troubles in the business, it shall not bring an end to the business in the name of Jesus. Why? Because the Bible says, the more the affliction, the more they multiplied in the name of Jesus. The more the affliction, the more fruitful they became. Somebody to become fruitful in the season of famine. In the season of famine, when people are going down, you are going up. And so the Bible says, Yes, my Lord, when men are falling, when men are cast down, let them say, there is a lifting up, there is a, oh my goodness, let somebody begin to forbid in prayer, let somebody declare prayer point now, when men are cast down, when men are cast down, let them declare, there is a lifting up. 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 In the name of Jesus. There is a lifting up. By the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is a lifting up. Jesus, that is a lifting up. Do you see that right now? That is a lifting up in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus is lifted up. I am lifted up in the name of Jesus. I am no more in the valley. I am no more in the cave. I am no more in the cistern. I am no more in the well in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus is lifted up. Therefore, I am lifted up. Lifted up up. Condemnation in the name of Jesus. Lift it above principles and powers in the name of Jesus. Let somebody vibrate in our prayer. Thank you, mighty Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. I carry my cross and I follow Jesus. And I will be where Jesus is because he is the man of the cross. And I'm also following him. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be your holy name. Hama shekere basakata. Oh my bakari Shakata Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, and that brings us to the third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by the Holy Cross, you have been taken to the world. My dear people of God, our Lord Jesus, even at this point in time, he has fallen on the ground. Oh, Jesus, by virtue of this fall, the Lord identifies with the fallen humanity. He identifies with the weakness of man. He identifies with our brokenness. Now he has come to the soil. The soil, the ground, the earth upon from which he created man. Oh, and he gave life unto man. That earth is now where Jesus is lying upon. That earth has come to be the bed upon which Jesus is now lying. Oh, I don't know if there's somebody here. You are lying on the bed of affliction. I don't know somebody here. Maybe you are lying 
on the earth that grows some thorns. And as you are lying on it, some pains are already upon your life. You have gone to the bed that you may lie and have a comfort. But there's no comfort for you. Where people go and they have comfort. Where people lie and they have comfort. Where people go and they have a realization. You go there, there is no peace for you. But there is a grace for you tonight. The Lord says, I am with you. The Lord says, I'm able to turn things around in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible tells us of Jacob when he was running away from Esau because he was afraid that Esau might kill him, having taken his birthright. And so the Bible tells us how Jacob was now on his way to his uncle's house called Lebanon. But he came to a certain city and it was a night time. And so he slept on the ground and he used the, the, the stone as, as a pillow. And so he slept. In the night, the Lord came to comfort him. The Lord came to visit him in the name of Jesus. Can you imagine how rough the ground were? Can you imagine the pains there, the trouble, the stones there? Yet it was a line upon the stone. It was not a comfortable thing for him, but the Lord comforted him. The Lord visited him even in that painful situation. I have a prayer for somebody tonight that whatever you're going through, may the Lord visit you in the name of Jesus. I say may the Lord visit you even as you lie down. Even if that situation is so bad that now you are falling on the ground. You are falling upon the thorn and the thorn like spooks are now piercing you. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord make a way for you. May the Lord visit you. May heaven open for you as it opened for Jacob. Let that heaven open for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Even as Jacob lay down and he was sleeping, he lived, looked up. The Bible makes him to understand. Angels were descending and ascending. Oh, Reba Secretary. Why? Because heaven opened for him. Even in the situation you are going through, that have brought you down, that have brought the business down, that have brought your head down. May God visit you there. May God visit you there. I don't know if somebody is praying now. May God visit you there. As he visited Jacob, I said, may he visit you there in the name of Jesus. Even in the night when Jacob was sleeping, I am sure and I hope you know that in that very night, the stars of heaven were laughing at him. They were smiling at him. They were waving at him. They were embracing him. The stars of heaven were making the sky beautiful for him in the name of Jesus. I pray for you tonight. Even as you lie in that situation, may May the heavens smile for you in the name of Jesus. May your star shine in the name of Jesus. Let there be testimonies. Let there be great for you in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. And so in the morning, even Jacob arose from that place and he said, oh, I don't even know that God is here. I pray for you. At the end of the prayer, let God do something in your life that you say, oh, so God is in this ministry. So God is in this place to the cross. So God is in this station. I pray for you tonight. May God visit you in the name of Jesus. In the morning, Jacob was rising. As he was rising, he was testifying to the goodness of the Lord. I pray at the end of the prayer, as you are rising, may you rise unto glory. As they are just as 16 verse 1 and the bible says arise and shine arise and shine in the name of jesus and so i minister to you child of god arise and shine arise and shine for the glory of god has come upon you i say arise and shine mark a reba sakata upon that place where you are falling onto i say arise and shine in the name of jesus Yes, my Lord, where your prayer life has become so weak and you cannot pray as you used to pray, arise and shine. And the Bible says, Revelation chapter 2, verse 4, I have this against you. I have this against you. Hey, Masakata, you have lost your first love. You have lost your first love. Child of God, I don't know where you are falling into. You have fallen out of that place where you used to love God so much that you are able to go extra mile with God. But now you are weak in prayer. You are weak in fellowship. You don't 
you don't have time again for the word of God. That is a message for you. That is a message for you. Isaiah 16 verse 1. Arise and shine. And let's go back to our relationship with Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord strengthen you. I don't to strengthen you. Let him give you spiritual glucose. Let him give you spiritual blood. A blood upon your life. You have become so weak in this journey that you have fallen out of the way. You have become anemic. May the blood of Jesus come upon you now. May the blood of Jesus supplement for that blood that you allow that you have become very deficient in the name of Jesus. Father, bless your people. Father, bless your people. Ask him to bless you. Ask him to touch you. Hey, Master Kata, that is a blessing meant for somebody tonight in this very station. Don't allow that blessing to pass you by. This is the third station where Jesus fell on the ground. He fell on the ground to pick you up. He fell on the ground to pick you up. That is why he's there now in the name of Jesus. He is not there on the ground to act a drama. Jesus is not acting a drama. Jesus is, is on a business of his father. Yes, my Lord. Where you have fallen, Jesus is picking you up right now. Where your business has fallen, Jesus is picking that business up now. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where you are falling onto. Can you begin to pray now? Can you begin to pray now? Cry to the Lord now. Cry to him now. Cry to him. Cry to him. Cry to him. Let the Lord hear your voice tonight. Let the Lord hear your voice tonight. My God and my Father, my God and my Father, Father, now that you are fallen on the ground, pick me up, O oh Lord. Raise me up, O oh Lord, for I have also fallen on the ground. You have fallen that you may pick me up. Pick me up, O oh Lord, to the height of the saints. Father, pick me up, O oh Lord, that I may touch the realms of the spirit in the name of Jesus, that I may touch the realms of glory, the realms of dominion in the name of Jesus. Father, pick me up, O oh Lord, that I may touch the stars of heaven, that I may touch the stars of heaven in the name of Jesus. Father, lift me up, that I may touch the hem of your garment in the name of Jesus. Father, say to me now, Oh Lord, I have fallen down. I have fallen down. Lift me up again. I have fallen into sin, my God. Oh, Riba Sakata. Father, lift me up again. Lift me up again. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying right now? Is somebody vibrating prayer? Rika Sakata. That is the body lifter. That is the mighty Jesus. Cry to him now. Cry to him now. Ask him to lift you up. Father, lift me up, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Father, lift me up in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. It's us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, ancient of days, our God and our Lord. To you be all the glory for settling your children. We appreciate you. In Jesus' gracious name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. There is something about this God that makes me to love Him. He's a cause and a keeping God, consistent in all His ways. The love of the Lord has grown, Father, you first love us that year. Yes, That's Lord. why we love you forevermore. You put on love. Amen. Jesus. Ha. Jesus. The fourth station. Jesus meets his holy mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because God of worth was, you have been the woman. My dear friends, at this point in the suffering of Jesus, a spot emerges during which he saw the mother, and the mother saw him. Eyeball to eyeball, mother and child suffering. I want you to meditate on this kind of suffering, on the pain that Blessed Mother was going through, a woman of sorrows. Her son was also a man of sorrows. So many troubles, troubles that we hit upon her son. Hey, oh! Jesus. We are here tonight 
to be reminded that the Blessed Mother is also our mother. I hope she is your mother. I pray this night for the Blessed Mother to locate you. Jesus. And so I invite a soft song to uplift our hearts, our Blessed Mother. A heart to celebrate this golden woman. A mother like no other. Hell, wonderful mother, special mother, mother that can never abandon her children. That is who you are. Let the song flow as we honor her, as we appreciate her for giving us Jesus, as we appreciate her. If you honor her, she will also honor you. And so she gives us the rosary. To pray. A prayer to honor our Blessed Mother. What is your relationship with the Blessed Mother? If you ask Jesus that question, Jesus will tell you, oh, she's my queen. She is my mother. She is there with me all the time. I am one heart with her. We love each other. That will be the response of Jesus. And if Jesus would give this kind of response, concerning a relation with the mother, then my question for you is, what are you waiting for? If you say that Jesus is your Lord and your Savior, then you must love what Jesus loves. Jesus loves the mother so much that he cannot afford to see her mother not happy. So in this moment, I pray that heaven will bless you. We pray for a strong and a powerful relation with our blessed mother. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh. Yes. Special mother. Special mother. Oh. Make me a child like you. In all the land I fly, for Jesus. My dear friends, you see, our Blessed Mother is wonderful. Very wonderful. Very amazing woman. woman. Very powerful mother. A warrior. There is no extent to which she cannot go to save her children in danger. Many of us may know this great love of our Blessed Mother, a wonderful saint, Saint um, Le Alphonsus Ligori. You know, he wrote this book called um, The Glories of Mary, a very classical book. You know, uh, and, and remember, he himself is also a doctor of the church. Saint Alphonsus Ligori. Now, that this story he, he, he shared in the book that, 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 that so much touched my heart, and I wish to share that with you. And he, he, he talked about the, the wealth, that is the, the baby tiger. And he said that when a hunter 
A hunter captures the baby tiger and takes the, ti the, the baby tiger into a boat and begins to take the baby tiger into the into the sea now of course the baby tiger cannot bite you know it doesn't know the art of defending itself so it will be crying 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 mama mama they carry me away mama cry me away now you you you, you see see the the hunter still paddling the boat paddling the boat moving very fast because it had been known that when the baby tiger begins to cry the mother, whatever play the mother is, the mother will hear the sound of the cry of her baby. And she comes there and upon seeing that the baby was already at the center of the river, you think that that mother tiger will give up. No, it has been shown that the, the tiger will dive into the water. Now, let me tell you. If you go to, go to the channel, if you go to uh, if you are a, a, a fond a fond lover of uh, National Geographic, uh, if you can even go to the internet and type about tigers, you know that tigers are good swimmers. They can swim. They can even fight inside the water. In fact, they can even catch a crocodile inside the water and kill it inside the territory of the crocodile. I'm telling you, inside the territory, kill it and bring it out and devour it on, on the ground. So it is known that even as the child is crying in the boat, even at the middle of the sea, that the mother tiger will never give up going to look after her child and will begin to swim as fast as she could to be able to catch the, the, the hunter and rescue the child. My question tonight is, if an animal, if the mother tiger will have this kind of instinct to save her baby, is it the blessed mother that will abandon you in your own time of danger? Is it our blessed mother that the mother of mothers, do you know that all motherhood summarized into her? All motherhood, all the virtues of mothers, all of them merge, intercept in her. That is where they all dissolve. This wonderful mother can never abandon you. That is why I want to tell you tonight, if you have not made her your mother, make her to make her right now. Don't even wait till the end of this stations across. In fact, don't even wait to the end of this very station for you to declare her your own mother. Declare her your queen in the name of Jesus. Look at the way she was following Jesus. Look at the way she was crying following Jesus. Praying and pouring her heart for her son to be saved. For her son, for God to show mercy concerning the situation of her son. That was the, the way Oh, Reba Sakata, you see even the mother tiger following the, the baby that was in captivity. The baby that was in the place of danger just to go and rescue that baby. I don't know where you are now. I don't know the situation you are going through. We are calling on this queen of heaven. We are and this is your queen. We are calling upon your queen, the mother of, of Jesus. We are calling on the queen, the queen of this ministry, the, my own queen. Her name is Mary, the mother of Jesus. Hey, Ma Sakata, I call on you to invite her now. Let her step into your affairs. Let her come to fight for you. Let her begin to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Even if you have been kidnapped, she will be able to deliver you tonight. She is able to rescue her children. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying now? Call on her to intercede for you. Her intercession is powerful. So powerful that her intercession can be the reason why Jesus will turn water to wine. In the name of Jesus. I say, pray, 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 pray. I say, don't give up any prayer. In the name of Jesus. Hey, Masakata, if you take up your rosary and begin to pray now, the blessed mother will hear you. She will hear you. Every hell of every hell Mary that is full of grace. She is come to come to you and make sure you receive grace in the name of Jesus. And so I pray for you tonight. May she intercede for you. Mama, intercede for your children. Mama, visit your children. Mama, visit every life now. Visit every family now. In the name of Jesus, those children, those families, that their children are in the boat, in the boat of this world, and they are being carried away. They are being carried away by the forces of this world, by the culture of the Western world. And they are being carried away. Mama, go and rescue their children. Mama, go and rescue their children. Many mothers are crying. Many parents are crying because their children are being carried away by the culture of the modern world. In the name of Jesus. Erika Sakata. 
Mama, intercede for your people in the name of Jesus. Wipe the tears of your people in the name of Jesus. Let somebody pray now. Let somebody pray now. Mary is here. Mary is here. The blessed mother is here. The blessed mother is here. Hey, Marke Rebo Sokoto Rikaskata. Mama, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here to touch your children in the name of Jesus. I don't know who to seek that the blessed mother has come. Is that for you tonight? Here, my secretary. She is with you there. She is with you there. I said she's with you there in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Begin to cry to her now. Ask her to do something for you. Ask her to help you. Ask God to visit you. Ask her to make way. Hey, Reba Sakata. Thank you, mighty mother. Thank you, our queen. Thank you, our glorious queen. In the name of Jesus. Hey, my secretary, we pray with thanksgiving and for the honor of our blessed mother, for this wonder she has done for us. I invite you to partner with me in making this golden prayer that the church has always made over the millennia. Join me as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us in the of the Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in the of the breath. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the rest of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In this moment, I will for many station Simon of Syrian help Jesus to carry his cross we adore you O Christ and we praise thee because by the holy cross you have redeemed the world hmm. Mother Francis Christ in this journey Jesus had come to that point where the weight of the suffering had taken a very exaggerated toll on him. He could hardly move. It had been a struggle for him. But now the struggle had multiplied. Multiplied to that degree that no one, not even the strongest of men, multiplied by a thousand, not even a million, could be able to bear what Jesus bore. And so we can understand that Jesus in this struggle needed help. And the heaven has already made a plan to help Jesus. Let me tell you. Do you know that even in that trouble you go through, God has kept someone to help you. God has sent an angel to help you. God did not create man to be alone. Even from the beginning of creation, even right there in the Garden of Eden, God raised Eve to support 
Adam. Even in our time, as Jesus has given us his body, and we are called the body of Christ, he has not abandoned the church. He gives a, a help for the church, a helper, the Holy Spirit. And not only the Holy Spirit. Do you know that Mary is also the mother of the church? And her prayer is always there to help the church. The church is going through struggles. The church is going through storm. And she's praying for the church. The saints are praying for the church. The angels are praying for the church. So the kingdom of God is a kingdom of helping those who are weak. If you are part of that kingdom, welcome. You are in a safe place. You are part of a network that is the strongest network in the world. The highest connection anybody can have on this earth is that you have connection with heaven. My dear friends, Christ. Because Jesus, of course, is from heaven. He is from above, as the Bible tells us. And he who is above is above all. Because he is from above, heaven had to send help to their king, Jesus Christ, the prince of all ages. If you are in Christ, you're also from above. Because he who is inside Christ is also above principalities and powers. First John chapter 5, verse 4. And the Bible says that he who is born of God is an overcomer. And so if we are in Christ, we are overcomers. As we carry our cross, we are overcomers in the name of Jesus. So at every point in time, it appears that we are going through the struggle so much. God has sent someone to help you. Sent angels to help you. Do you know that there's an special angel that God sent to you called your guiding angel? whose assignment is to help you in this journey. Do you know that there are other in unnumbered angels, saints that are there praying for you to make it? Oh, Jesus. I remember when I was going through a lot in life. It was as if, you know, you see when Jesus said, Father, 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 why have you abandoned me? I came to that point in this journey, in this journey of faith. I came to that point in my life and I began to wonder, does it mean that God has abandoned me like this? I tell you. But you know what happened? In the night, I had a very powerful vision that, that made me to even go and apologize to God for me to say that. I saw my, my living room filled, packed full with angels. Everywhere was glittering. I know what they told me. We are praying for you, brother. We are praying for you. You will make it. We are behind you. Do you know each time I remember what they said? I just, I just have confidence that no matter what I go through, I will make it. So, my dear people of God, let it be known to you and I tonight, no matter what you go through, heaven has sent angels to come and be with us. They have sent helpers on the way. They have come to vindicate us. We, they have sent even our own Simon to help us in the name of Jesus. In this journey, they, we are being reminded that Simon of Syrian was sent to come and help Jesus. And so, even in that time, when someone comes to help Jesus, may he continue to remind us that our own Simon is also there to help us in these troubles in the name of Jesus. No matter the gravity of the troubles, may God be with you. May God strengthen you in the name of Jesus. May your Simon never be absent. May your Simon, ah, may he never be out of his duty post when you need that your Simon. In the name of Jesus. There are people that their sermons are displaced. I pray for you tonight. That if your sermon is somewhere else. May your sermon locate you. In the name of Jesus. Yes my Lord. May your sermon come to help you. When sermon comes the way. He comes to help you. He comes to help you to carry the cross. And so he brings his own shoulder. And the talent with the own shoulder. And they together. Two of you will be able to make it. He will come to share the burden with you. He will come to share the troubles with you. That is what Jesus does. He comes. He brings his own shoulder. And he tells us, put your shoulder here. And we put our shoulder beside Jesus. And there's something that you now saw with Jesus. And that is the cross. Can you imagine when Simon was carrying that cross? And as he carried the cross with his own shoulder. 
at the other side of the cross, the shoulder of Jesus was also carrying it. And so Simon was not even alone. Oh, Jesus, that is what I'm talking about. That is the situation I'm talking about. When Jesus calls us to carry the cross, to help him in carrying the cross, Jesus, we do not carry it alone. He does not abandon us. Yes, my Lord, you see Jesus carrying the cross with you. You see him carrying the cross with you. You see Simon looking to the face of Jesus and learning from Jesus how to carry the cross. And the Bible says, Matthew 11, verse 28. All of you who are heavy laden with the burden, come, 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 and I will give you rest. In verse 30, he says, Yes, my Lord, for my burden is light. My burden is light in the name of Jesus. Why is the burden light? Because Jesus is helping you. That is why it is light in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus is helping you. Jesus bring his own shoulder to come and help you in the name of Jesus. So my dear people of God, let us invite Jesus into the situation we are going through in the name of Jesus. As we carry the cross with him, as one beam, as the other side of the cross rests on the beam of our shoulder, the other side will rest on the on the shoulder of Jesus, and so shall it be that together we share the body, and so it becomes light. May God bless you. I say may God bless you in the name of J-E-S-U-S. Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, ancient of days. There is none that's like you. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Jesus. Jesus. For you, oh my God, Lord, praise my soul. Tell me the fire which you Jesus, the fire Oh, you don't close the in love with you, Jesus. Close the in love with you. The sixth is Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by the Holy Cross you have redeemed the world. My dear people of God, at this point in the suffering of Jesus, a certain woman, a holy woman, a bold woman, a woman of great courage, by name Veronica, Seeing the suffering of the innocent Savior, now elbows her way through the crowd and came to Jesus. Looked at him eyeball to eyeball and saw redness in the white portion of the eyes. Saw swollen face. Saw a face covered with blood. She saw the face of suffering. And she asked herself, what can I do to help this man of suffering? She dipped her hand into her purse and brought out a handkerchief. And at that point in time, all she could do was to wipe the face of Jesus. She wiped the face of Jesus, and Jesus left on her veil an imprint of his holy face. What a great reward. What a great reward. My dear friends in Christ, do, you, do I need to tell you that each time we see someone who is in need, someone who is suffering, and we identify we render a help, no matter how small. We have rendered our help to Jesus. We have wiped the face of Jesus. So do not envy Veronica as if to say, oh, I wish, uh, I, I, no, 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 don't wish anything. You are there now. Opportunity is there on earth for us to do what Veronica did. To support Jesus in the work of his father. That is what Veronica did. 
Ha, Jesus. She brought a handkerchief to wipe the face of the Holy One. And so tonight, we pray for the grace to be able to see Jesus. To see Jesus in our neighbor. To see Jesus in the suffering humanity. Oh, Jesus. So if I may ask you, what have you brought to the service of our great Lord? What have you brought? Eh? What have you brought? What have you brought? <laughs> if you ask this question to Veronica, what did you bring? What did you offer to the Lord? What did you bring to the table? What did you bring to the church? She will say, I brought my handkerchief. The poor widow will say, I brought my coin, my little coin, my only coin. I brought myself. Simon of Syria will say, I brought my strength. I used my gift of strength to help Jesus. St. Paul will say, I brought my own gift of knowledge to help in the work of evangelism. My question is, what would you say? What would you say if that question is thrown to you? Mary Magdalene will say, I brought my alabaster box full of oil, expensive oil, alabaster oil, and I use it to, to uh, massage Jesus. I poured it on him. I poured it on his feet. All the saints in heaven, one by one, they have something they gave to the church through Christ or gave to Christ through church. There is a gift they have given. What gift are you giving? What have you given? What are you giving? Two questions. What have you given and what are you giving? The Lord is talking to us tonight. No matter how small it is, if we give it to God in the state of love, if we carry love in our hearts and we give it to Jesus, he will multiply it. Don't you know that? Don't you know that? That when in the wilderness, they gave five loaves and two fish, that Jesus multiplied it and used it to feed 5,000 people with so many baskets as left over. Another day, he fed even 7,000 people with 12 baskets left over. He multiplied it. Veronica gave Jesus just a little wiping of the handkerchief, using the handkerchief. Jesus multiplied it by giving her a holy face, an imprint of his face. May God reward you for your service in the house of God. I pray God to bless you. We ask and seek for the intercession of St. Veronica to intercede for us so that we shall use the gifts given to us to serve the Lord, to serve the Lord now. Oh, Jesus, Masha Kata Kata, let us pour our oil, our oil of prayer, our oil of blessedness upon our Lord Jesus as our gift now. Oh, Jesus, Masha Kata, let us pour the oil now that we be able to find his favor in the name of Jesus. Let us use that oil now, the oil of favor, the oil that he has put onto us. Let us give him back that oil and use that oil from our alabaster box to wash the feet of Jesus. Let us wash the feet of Jesus with our tears, with our prayer in the name of Jesus. Let us like Veronica, let us like Mary Magdalene begin to wipe them with our hands in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, Jesus, let us show the Lord now an extraordinary love in the name of Jesus. The extraordinary love he has given to us. Let us give back him love. For love beget love in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Extraordinary love ought to be the outgrowth in the name of Jesus. Extraordinary love will be what we are giving to the Lord now as a reward for him, for the what he has done for us, for dying on the cross for us in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Extraordinary service for the Lord. Let us give him extraordinary service for this extraordinary love that has gone for us now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Begin to pour now your alabaster oil. Alabaster oil. Oh, Reba Sakata. Upon the Lord now. Upon his defeat now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Alabaster oil of thanksgiving. We are pouring upon him now. Father, we thank you. Begin to thank him now for the gifts that are given to you, for the favor you are giving to you, for the upliftment that is given to you. Begin to thank him now. Begin to thank him now. 
Yes, my Lord. Is somebody thanking him now? Market is Pray, 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 pray. I say thank him now. Begin to thank him, thank him, thank him. Don't tell me, brother. Oh, I wish I have oil like uh, Mary, like my, like Magdalene, that I would have given him my alabaster oil. You have your own alabaster oil. Alabaster oil of thanksgiving. I have bought alabaster oil of praise in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. I appreciate him now. That is the alabaster oil that we are giving to him for answer the prayers. Begin to thank him now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, mighty God. We worship you. We adore you. We give you all glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. We give you all glory. We give you all the glory. Glory, glory, glory. Give him all the honor. Give you all the glory. Jesus. Father, we we'll give you all glory. We we'll give you all the honor. And we we'll give you all the praise. For you are worthy to be glorified. And we belong to you till all eternity. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by the Holy Cross, you have redeemed the world. My dear friends, in this very second fall of Jesus, of this seventh station, the Lord invites us to have an, a look inside ourselves. And see the ways that we are making the law to fall. Because our sin is taking a toll. The weight is increasing. And the Lord is falling. Hell, Jesus. Look at our Lord on the ground. We ask him to help us in our struggle with the sin. We ask him to help us. To overcome this lion of sin, of sin. We ask him to help us to master sin. And not for sin to master us. We ask him for the grace to stand strong. Even in the face of the greatest of all temptations. Father help us. Mighty God help us. Help us with that grace Lord. For your grace is sufficient for us. For that we ask you this night. Endow us with your grace, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Psalm 84, verse 11. And the Bible says, The Lord is my son and my shield. And he is the one that bestows grace and glory upon his elect. Even tonight, Lord, may you bestow on us the grace to overcome every sin, every temptation, every trial, so that, Lord, we shall stand strong in the moments of temptations. This and many more we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen and amen. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. When sickness and sorrows into the dark of our world, he rolls up into your life. When trouble and temptations into the dark of our world, he rolls the king. To 
Jesus. The eighth station. Jesus consoles the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by the Holy Cross, you have been with the world. My dear friends, the Christ, at this point in the suffering of Jesus, we see him as he meets the woman of Jerusalem who saw the misery, who saw the pain, the, the, the agony that Jesus was going through. They saw the storm, ah, and they were broken. And all they could offer were their tears. My dear friends in Christ, as they began to offer their tears to the Lord, as they began to cry, seeing the situation of Jesus, Jesus did not abandon them. Jesus stopped and began to speak to them. He began to speak to them as if he knew them. Yes, he knows them very well. Is he not the Lord? Does he not know everything? Does he not know us one by one? My dear friends in Christ, even in your tears, the Lord knows you. The Lord knows what is causing the tears. He knows the cause of that situation. And so we come to him tonight and we ask him who knoweth all things. May he come to fight our battles in the name of Jesus. Let him come. He knows us, knows everything we are going through. Even before creation, the Lord knows us. The Lord knew us even before the foundation of the earth. Even before the foundation of the earth began, the Lord knew us. And he continues to know us in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. So I pray for you tonight. No matter the situation you go through, let it be known to all tonight that the Lord will make a way. That the Lord will comfort you. Let the voice of God come to you. Let him speak to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. The centurion will say, speak your word and your servant shall be healed. Yes, my Lord. What you need is the word of God. God. The women of Jerusalem, they were able to hear the word of God. I pray tonight, may you hear the word of God. May we hear the word of God in the situation we are going through. May the Lord speak to us now. May he clear the air now in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. No matter the intensity of that trouble, when the word of God comes, he takes care of that situation. He will make a way in the desert. That is the word of God. Can you begin to talk to him now and say, Lord, speak to me. Speak to me concerning the situation I'm going through. Speak to me concerning this storm in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus. Is somebody praying now? Is somebody praying now? Pray, 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 pray. Jesus did not ignore the cry of this woman. Ask him not to ignore your cry. Let him not ignore your cry. It is not in his character to ignore the cry of his children. If you will cry unto him, the Lord will make a way. In the name of Jesus, talk him now. Talk to him now. Look at what happened to Hagar when she was in the desert and she was a crying because Ishmael had no water to drink. Ishmael had no food to eat. Ishmael had no hope again. And the mother had no hope again. And so she abandoned her child. She left her child in the desert and told herself, I don't want to carry the child. Let the child not die in my hands. Let me not watch my, my, my cry, my, my son cry to death before my eyes. And so she now left her child and went to somewhere else. And there she was be mommy, be mo be crying. There she was bemoaning. Arebo Sekete, I am praying for you tonight. Do you know that God heard the cry? The cry of the baby. The cry of the mother in the desert. And God told her, Oh, Reba Sakata, Ayaba Sekete, the water is there. Go and fetch the water. God made the water to appear, even in the desert, even in that ugly situation, even in the state of hopelessness. God make it away. I am praying for you tonight. May God make a way for you. In the name of Jesus, no matter the hopeless situation you are going through, the Lord is able to make a well for you. A well in the desert. Is he not the one that created the mountains? Is he not the one that created the seas and the, all the oceans? Who put the stars and the moons and the, and the sun in their places in the galaxy? Is that not the Lord? Who, who commanded the sun to be and the sun 
became. And the Bible says, Genesis 1 verse 3. And the Lord said, Let it be light. And there was light. And the Bible says, And he saw that the light is good. And God created his light. Even when there was darkness everywhere, there was no light before he created light. He himself was the light. There was no sun before he created sun. There was no moon before he created moon. He created everything on his own. I pray for you tonight, even in that situation you are going through, the Lord is able to make a way. The Lord is able to create a solution. He is able to make a way. He is able to invent a solution. If no solution exists, it does not, it does not mean he cannot make it. He is able to make it. He is able to create a solution for you in the name of Jesus. You may be struggling, but God does not struggle. God does not struggle with solution. So I am praying for you. You who is struggling with that situation, may God who brings solution to that very struggle, may he bring solution to you now in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Jesus, the Lord has a strategy. He has a strategy for that situation in the name of Jesus. While you are struggling, the Lord has a strategy for the solution. That is a code called SSS. SSS, the first S is the struggle, which is at the human level. The second S is the strategy, which is godly. And the, the last S is solution, which is also from heaven. I pray for you tonight. Hayabasakata. Let us go to God, who is able to bring the last two S's, who is able to bring the strategy and the, the solution. Let him bring that strategy. When the strategy meets your, your struggle, what comes to pass is solution in the name of Jesus. So begin to pray now for heavenly strategy to come to you. Let God reveal to you what to do in the name of Jesus. Arriba sakata, pray, 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 pray. Ma keri kasakata, my Lord and my Father. Give me the strategy, oh Lord. You gave Moses the strategy on how to rescue your people from the land of captivity, from the land of slavery. When they were in Egypt, Father, in my time, oh Lord, give me the strategy, oh Lord to solve this problem, to solve this problem in our family, to solve this problem in our family. Father, use me, O oh Lord, to solve this problem, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Everyone is looking for solution, but I'm coming to you. Everyone is going to man for solution, but I'm coming to you, Lord. Father, speak to me, O oh Lord. Give me a solution, O oh Lord. I don't know the solution that you need. I don't know the struggle you are going through. Begin to talk to God now. This is the opportunity for you to talk to God. Begin to Talk to him now. Harry Basekete. Pray, 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 pray. Makase kete rika sakata. Cry to him, cry to him, cry to him. Machine de rebosa. Cry to the Lord now. Is us. Let him, let him vindicate you. Let him make a way for you. In the name of Jesus, he made a way for Job. He made a way for the woman who suffered the issue of hemorrhage. He made a way for the people of Israel when they were in Egypt. Now is your turn. In the name of Jesus, he made a way for Sarah. He made a way for Hannah. Even for the mother of Samson, he made a way for her. It's now is your turn. Are you talking to him now? Are you talking to him now? Let him hear you now. Try to him to make a way for you. My Lord and my Father. Father, make a way for me. Come and deliver me, O oh Lord. Deliver me from this mess, O oh Lord. Hey, Masakata. Is us. You made a way for Jeremiah. When in chapter 36, chapter 8, 38, of Jeremiah 38, he was kept in the lion's den. He was put in the pit of death. And you came to deliver him. My Lord, come and deliver me. Come and help me, oh Lord. Oh Jesus, deliver me, deliver me. Ask him to deliver you. Ask him to deliver you now. Ask him to deliver you. Are you locked up in the lion's den? Are you locked up in the lion's den? Let the chain be broken down. Let Let somebody come out to land then in the name of Jesus. Let somebody come out of captivity. A time of recompense has come. Makata sakata. Pray, 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 pray. Is us. Let him answer your prayer. The Lord is the God that answers by fire. He is able to answer your prayer. Cry to him tonight. Ask him to change your history, your ugly story. Let him change your ugly story in the name of Jesus. I don't know what you remember. And each time you remember that situation, you begin to cry. May the Lord visit you. May the Lord visit you. I say, may the Lord visit you in the name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Oh, Jesus. Papa, look at your people. Father, 
indicate your people. Father, locate your people. Make a way, make a way, oh Lord. For you are the way maker. You are the history maker. Hey, Riva Sakata, come into our story, oh Lord. Let our story become your story. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Let there be victory, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let there be solution, O Lord. Let there be testimonies at the end of the prayer. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, King of glory. We appreciate you, Lord. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the King. Praise the King. Praise the Master. He was touched in prayer. He ended in prayer. Prayer is the The night station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you and we praise thee. Because by your holy you have redeemed the world. My dear people of God, the Lord Jesus at this point has fallen the third time. Oh, Jesus. Father, we are sorry for the ways by Perpetuating our sin, we have made you to fall again and again. We are here to say, Father, we are sorry. Help us, O oh Lord, with that grace to seek righteousness, to pursue purity. Father, help us, Lord. Help Jesus. Jesus, your word says, as your heavenly father is the perfect, be perfect. Father, we ask you to help us to pursue you, to pursue your glory, to pursue righteousness, to pursue perfection. Because in you, we are perfect, Lord. We want to live our lives in you. That you shall be our place of abode. Because no sin will enter where into a man who is in you. Father, help us, Lord, to have our being in you, to live in you, to move in you. That that testimony of Acts 17, verse 28 shall come to pass. For in him we live, we move, and we have our being. Father, have your way. Strengthen us, Lord. In our struggles with the forces of this world, with the forces of the flesh, with the forces of the kingdom of darkness, Father, make us strong. Make us strong. Help, Jesus. Make us strong, Lord. That strength that came upon Samson that made him to be able to slaughter the lion. Father, when that lion comes, Give us this grace to tear it into shreds, into pieces. Because sin is a lion that tears people apart, that tears people away from their Lord. But Father, may we begin to become tearers of the tearer. That when the enemy comes to tear, we tear them into pieces. May that grace be imparted upon us. From today, Lord, we ask for the grace to begin to overcome every sin that have been that has been overcoming us. Father, from today, we want to overcome them. Help us to overcome them, Lord. Let the kingdom of darkness be put to shame to see us, even for the first time, overcome that sin. To master that sin. When your word came to Cain, you told Cain, Ha, ah, Cain, I see sin encroaching you. Master it. That was your language to Cain. But Cain did not listen to you. And so he ended up murdering his brother, Abel. The first sin of murder on earth. 
Father, when you speak to us, when you send the signals of warning to us, help us, Lord, to anchor on it. Help us, Lord, to run to the sacrament of penance, the sacrament of reconciliation. And there, pour our hearts to you. Receive the grace and strength to overcome that sin. Lord, help us. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh Lord, have mercy on your children. Mercy, oh Lord, have mercy on your children. Mercy, oh Lord, have mercy on your children. Mercy, oh Lord. Have mercy upon your children. Jesus. The tent station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by Holy Cross, you have written the word. My dear people of God. At this point in time, our Lord Jesus is stripped of his garment. Imagine the humiliation that Jesus went through. I want you to think about it. Being made naked before the public. A very condescending thing. Something not befitting of the Lord. Yeah, this was what we did to Jesus. Now, he loved us so much that he came to clothe us with his garment of righteousness. Yet we we clothed him with nudity, with with shame. Mighty Jesus, we bring shame to you in so many ways. We ask you to have mercy on us. Help us, Lord, that by our lives we shall begin to please you in the name of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to be missionary minded, to be soul winning minded, to be evangelistic minded in the name of Jesus. Help us, O oh Lord, to please you by our worship and in our worship, by our prayers, in the things we do. Father, may we please you in the name of Jesus. Impact that grace upon us. Ask him to impart that grace on you. The grace to stand strong. The grace to preach Christ in the name of Jesus. The grace to live for Christ. The Bible says, Philippians 1 verse 21, for me oh, to live is to glory of God. It's 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 all for God's glory, but for 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 that ah, it also again whichever way Christ is glorified. I pray this night for my life to bear testimonies of God's glory in the name of Jesus. We ask for that, God for that grace now that we shall be clothed with the garment of grace in the name of Jesus. That in everything we do, Christ will continue to take all the glory. Hareba sakata. Let everything we do, let it be thing that will be, that will be true, because our God is true. Let it be thing that will be noble, because our God is noble. Let it be thing that are pure, because our God is pure. Let it be thing that are praiseworthy, because our God is praiseworthy. In the name of Jesus, let it be thing that are admirable, because the glory of our God is admirable. Our God is admirable. Let it be thing that are excellent, because our our God is the excellence of the excellences in the name of Jesus. Let us begin to ask for that grace now. The grace to praise God. The grace to do things that will be like things of heaven in the name of Jesus. Father, only you that can do this, O oh Lord. Jesus, clothe us, O oh Lord, with your shining glory in the name of Jesus. Ask God to clothe you now. Yes, my Lord. 
is ours, my Lord and my Father. Yet it be well with your children in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Clothe me with testimonies, O Lord. Clothe me with testimonies in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord. Clothe me, O Lord, with purity in the name of Jesus, with chastity in the name of Jesus. Clothe me, O Lord, with your life. I need your life, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying right now? Pray, 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 pray. Pray, pray, clothe me, O Lord, with a life without wrinkles, with a life without spots, in the name of Jesus, with a life without blemish, in the name of Jesus. Father, clothe me, O Lord, clothe me with wisdom, in the name of Jesus, with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Is somebody praying now? Pray, 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 pray. It's us a time to clothe somebody. That time has come. That time has come. Makete zakasakata rebambe karabosa. Pray now, pray now, pray now. Revelation makuri mache. Revelation chapter three verse eighteen. And the Bible says, "I can sue you. I can sue you. I can sue you. Come to me and buy and buy a pure cloth washed in the blood of Jesus. Come, 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 come and take from me. Come and buy from me a cloth washed in the blood." A pure garment, a pure garment that you, you may be covered, that your nudity be covered, that your shame be covered. Oh, Reba Sakata, that your nakedness be covered in the name of Jesus. Yes, my Lord, that is the message of God for you. Yes, my Lord, He has a salve for somebody's eyes. He wants to cover our eyes with His salve so that we begin to see clearly in our ego in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying now? Is us ask him now. Let him cover your nudity now. In the name of Jesus, let him cover you with his blood. Let the blood of Jesus begin to cover somebody now. Begin to cover somebody now by the power of the blood of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Let our blood cover you. Oh, my shake it is a kata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. We worship you, Jesus. We appreciate you. We give you all honor in Jesus' gracious name. We pray. Amen and amen. Where you there? When the truth is right, Where you there? When the truth is right, you Tremble, tremble. When you when the cross is The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross, you have made him the world. Oh, my dear people of God, the world has nailed Jesus to the cross. Imagine the pain that Jesus went through. The pain that the world gave to the Lord. Oh, the world cannot give pain to their, to their own. The world will bring pain to the righteous. And because we are the children of Jesus, the world will bring pain to us. But Jesus promises us that he will see us through. Look at what Jesus is going through. Look at the way they nail Jesus. Look at the pain. Look at the suffering. If you were of the world, the world will love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. You know why the world hates you? Because you belong to Jesus. You know why the world is nailing you? Because you belong to Jesus. May the Lord strengthen us to remain in Jesus. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 
station Jesus dies on the cross we adore you O Christ and we praise thee because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world oh <sighs> my dear friends at this point our Lord is on the cross Jesus a time to pour our heart to the Lord a time to pour our hearts as the gentle song flows. We come to the foot of the cross with Mary, who in John 19, verse 25, is there at the foot of the cross. With Mary Magdalene, with Mary the wife of Cleopas, and with John the beloved. And we who are the beloved of the Lord, we have come to the foot of the cross. To be with Jesus. To comfort him. Hell. We have come to take shelter. Under the cross. To find Jesus. The Lord is our help. We have come. To be under the shadow of his wings. It is under the shadow of his wings. That we shall find joy. That we shall rejoice. Look at Jesus. Look at him on the cross. Look at him on the cross. Behold that image on the screen. If you have that privilege. Let it help you to focus on the message. Do you see Jesus on the cross? He is the one who is the good shepherd. But now, in the course of looking for the lost sheep, he has got wounded. He who found me a sinner made me a pardoned sinner. Who is that person? Jesus. He is the one that found me who is a sinner and have pardoned me. He who found me a sinner has put me among his children. Who is that person? The same Jesus who found me a sinner and yet opened the door for me to come and be among his own children. He who found me a sinner has numbered me among his honored servants. Oh, who am I that I will be I will be counted, numbered among the servants of the Lord? A sinner like me. Yet grace has made it possible for me and you to be numbered among the, the Lord's honored servants. To be among the blessed ones of the Lord. Look at all that we have done to Jesus. Yet he kept loving us. Oh brother, what do you mean? What have we done to Jesus? Look at the cross. Our sins crucified him. We crucified him. Put the Jews out of it. We crucified him. Jesus. Oh, instead of us to be put to shame, instead of us to be the one hanging on the cross, he chose our spot and became the one crucified. He did not desert us, even though we deserved it. He did not put us to shame, even though we deserved it. Glory be to his holy name. I say glory be to the name of the Lord. Glory be to he who continues to show mercy and love upon his children who are not even deserving of his mercy. 
He will continue his work in each and every one of us till he has perfected it. What a kind God. He is the God that performs wonders. He is a God that performs all things for us. Oh! In fact, it is even in him that will find rest. It is even in him that will find heaven. So we're not ashamed when we have him as our God. And the world without end is in him. He is the king. My dear people of God. Jesus. Jesus. Look at him. Behold the man of Calvary. Behold the man of Calvary. A time of healing. Father, we have come under your shelter. Under the cross. Under your ampi to take shelter. We have come to take shelter under the cross. Father, have mercy. Deliver us, O oh Lord, from the power of the darkness. Bring healing unto your children. A time of healing. A time of healing. Let the cancers drop now. Stubborn diseases drop now in the name of Jesus. Demons, catch a fire right now in the name of Jesus. Power, power, power. Jesus. Tell your children. Let those with terminal diseases get healed now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. The King of Glory is healing his people. The man of Calvary is pouring his blood and he is healing his people. Be healed. Jesus, Let the doors of business open. Let of the doors of victory open. Jesus. 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 Mighty Jesus. Mighty Jesus. Oh. Jesus. Jesus. Oh. Ha ya ya. Jesus. Teach us how to be a sorrow, blessed mother. Talk to Jesus on the cross. Talk to the man of Calvary. Oh. Oh, Reba Kasakata. Teach me how to be a soul. Amen. Teach us how to be a soul. Amen. The 13th station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because thy holy cross. 
My dear people of God, even at this point, Jesus, having died, is now taken down from the cross and the place on the tender arms of the Blessed Mother, our own mother, a mother of sorrows. If you are going through sorrow, Mary is a sweet gift of heaven for those who go through sorrows. She is a great support in our time of sorrow. So we ask her to intercede for us, to help us in the struggles we go through, in the pains of life. Even when we find ourselves in thick darkness, in the valley of the shadow of death, may, the, may her intercession strengthen us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King. My you are the mighty the 14th station, Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise thee. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. My dear friends, in Christ, the Lord Jesus at this point is now buried. And our blessed mother was watching all these going on. Imagine the pain in the heart of the blessed mother. Many of us, our hearts have grown cold for the love of our Savior. But let not the, the, the bleak atmosphere of this evil world, let it not chill our love for our Lord. But instead, let our love for him continue to blossom. And so at this point, my dear fellow lovers of Jesus and Mary, we bury the troubles here. We bury those things that have been causing us the troubles. We bury them now. So I invite you to put that trouble there. Declare them buried in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, we command every garbage in our life, every trash, every arrow that has been shot at us, we command them to go to the grave and let them be sealed and never resurrect again. When our Lord will resurrect, when we shall resurrect our Lord, these trashes, these garbages, they shall not resurrect with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. It is wonderful. Yes, it is wonderful. In your In your Thank you, Jesus. We we'll cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We we'll cover the prayers of this night with the blood of Jesus. And we we'll thank the Lord for the miracles, for the grace he has given to each and every one of us to go through this wonderful prayer with heaven. Father, we thank you. 
glory, glory, glory in the name of Jesus. And all the spirits that have gone out in the course of this prayer, we command all of them from beginning to the end to go to the abbeys and remain there in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you for all the instruments you have used in the course of this prayer, most especially your daughter, that you have given such a golden voice to lift our spirits in this journey with you. May you also bless our Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, who we'll cover our testimonies with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, El Shaddai. In Jesus' gracious name we pray. Amen. So, my friends in Christ, it is my pleasure to welcome us to the end of this very journey. And uh, the journey has not come to an end in our lives every day, you know, Sunday to Sunday. We continue to seek the face of God. We continue to go through our own stations of the cross. And I encourage you, please share this message with your friends. It's not meant to be there in, in the YouTube, just sitting down. Share that with your friends. This is the gift that God has given to us in this very ministry. Okay, this is our identity. And, you know, to honor Jesus and the Blessed Mother. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. And I want to uh, remind us that... Um, um, Tomorrow, being Saturday, uh, we're going to have testimony in this prayer line and, the, and on Sunday also. And tomorrow's reading, we are going to have our reading from Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53. That is our reading tomorrow. Isaiah chapter 53. And uh, tomorrow, we are praying a very important prayer point. Remember, the Bible says, Isaiah 53, verse 5, that by his wounds we were healed. So we ask Lord to heal us. We ask him to heal us, and the Lord will heal his children. <laughs> so talk to him tomorrow. So we're not only praying for our own healing alone, but we're praying for healing of all who are wounded. There are many people all over the world who are wounded in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, El Shaddai. Now, number two prayer is to pray for this ministry. And not only for this ministry, we pray for all ministries where the Holy Spirit is at work. We pray that God will be with them and strengthen them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And please do not forget that at the end of this prayer session, we are coming back again for the companions of the cross. Please do not miss that prayer. That prayer is so powerful. Very wonderful. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Amen. So, brother will be there as number one. So, make sure you make me number two. <laughs> amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. So, we cover ourselves with Jesus. Amen. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, He is goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Amen.